I've got something different for you today. I'm going to show you a video of uh, Gigi. And here's Gigi. Play something now. This is my new style, my new hairstyle for my headlamp. Just a hair, a hair clip. That is too cool. Okay, so this is my other one I'm doing. Now, well, I love the I love the colors in that. Those were squares I sewn together. The center. Those were four little squares that I just sewn together. How did you do the end of it, the border? The border is just a single crochet. Oh, I see. So you you used four skeins of thread, different. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, these are four, four, four colors. And then this is my my radio blanket. <laughs> You're ready. My fast forward, pause, and rewind. <laughs> but like I said, that's not how. When I see it. That's what I. That's what I see. Is <laughs> fast forward and re rewind, but that's not what it is. <laughs> and then the border on. I didn't put a border on that. It's just the granny. Oh yeah. Yeah. But th these are not squares. This is all just going like one way, and then turn turn it around and go another way. And it was the shape of a rectangle, and I just kept going back and forth different directions to get the pattern and to make it square out of the rectangle. You know, I, I'm in the, it's amazing you can do that because, you know, I was working on that virus um, afghan and I'm, uh -huh. and I'm trying to make it into a square and I and make it like meet into granny square, I mean granny uh -huh. stitch around it and I can't figure out how to make it square. And uh, it, it's just perplexing to me because I'm frustrated. I guess maybe the yeah. heat has something to do with it. But I just want to make a granny square around it, you know, the granny yeah. stitch yeah, around there's, it. There's a way to do it. You'll have to have like your long stitches, like, and then well, get I'm shorter and then get bigger. And there's a way to do it. Just, I'm not one for, you know, trying to figure that out, but I've seen it done before, and I'm sure you could do it. Yeah, I don't you know. Figure, you just got to figure out where those longer stitches are going to be at. Yeah, so I'm, yes, it's just, uh, it's just weird because I don't know where the four points. My biggest challenge is where are the four points, you yeah. know? You know, where am I going? What, uh, how many inches? The pattern doesn't work. And I was following a fiber spider, and I was doing great with him because I can understand him. He goes at my pace. But then my mind went crazy and I couldn't do what he was telling me to do. And it was so simple, like, you know, cro cro double crochet 10 in this loop and then you go yeah. next loop. I just got confused, overwhelmed with it. And I think yeah. maybe it's just, well, I talked about that yesterday. It's a, a phenomena with me. I don't yeah. know what it it's is. Time, you know, too many different stitches at one time that you got to keep up with. Yeah. You know, yes. Yeah, so you know, and in the same in the same space. Um, there's also a lady called uh, Fiber Flux. She's good too. I don't know if you've mm. ever seen her. No, I haven't, but I'll check her Fiber out. Fiber Flux. F L U X. F L U X. Yes. F -L -U -X. Now there are some. There's so many out there that just I wear my nurse then. Their voices. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. yeah. Either that or their fingernails. Yeah, I mean, they're I like. can't do that long fingernails stuff. Like, <laughs> so, you know, it's not like. Uh, but fiber. Uh, what did I say? It's fiber spider. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I really like his pace and his voice. Now, I watched Mikey for years, you know, way back in the day. And um, 
he was the one that taught me initially some of the newer stitches. But now you know he's a mag he's a conglomerate now on YouTube. And uh, but I can remember Mikey and his yarn when he first got started. But uh, but yeah, some of the women I I can't pick up on it, and I think it's the pitch of their voice or the what how they're saying the words. You know, double yeah. crochet. Or... Sometimes I even sometimes I even mute it. And oh. If, if they go, and if they go slow enough, I can follow the stitch just like that. And sometimes I'll write it down. Yeah. But yeah. Sometimes I just mute it and just watch just watch it. You know? How come I didn't think of that? Yeah. And a lot of them, like from overseas, you know, with their accent, or if they're talking in a foreign language, like I can't understand, I'll just mute it. If I like it that good, that mm -hmm. good enough, I'll, I'll mute it and I'll just follow, I'll follow the pattern, uh, what they're doing. And sometimes they have it written up on the screen, you know, the, the pattern and the direction. Oh, they do. Like that. But I'll, I'll just mute it and I'll just follow it like that. I don't know how you put that at the top of the screen. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I want to learn anymore. If I learn anymore, I'll be confused again. So, <laughs> okay, let me take a look at this and see how it's going to do. Okay. I'll let you see if I can turn it off now. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the visit with Gigi. This is the first time we're trying anything like this. And these are some of her works here that I put up to, so you can see them uh, in larger pictures. Because I was shaking pretty bad during the video. And I do appreciate her allowing me to do this this morning. And I hope you enjoy seeing some of her work. She's very prolific. Uh, I think she said she's donating four this week uh, of Atkins she's made.